All right, this is a video test on uh, the Galaxy SA Plus. I'm gonna show you how Android Auto works on this Volvo XC90. So this is the newest model, seven seater uh, turbo. We're over here at the liquor warehouse picking up some stuff, but I'm gonna go inside and show you how the S8 Plus and Android Auto works in this car. Filming is also being done with my second Galaxy S8 Plus. Okay, so with the Volvo, you'll notice um, you can store multiple seat settings right here. Pretty large touch screen. Instrument cluster is also all um, digital on the Volvo. You'll notice when it turns on, it's completely digital. So right here, it says it's connected Galaxy S8 Plus. This is through Bluetooth. On the inside of um, this car, and I think it'll be similar to other vehicles with Android Auto, you have to connect through your USB um, your USB ports. And you'll see two ports right here, but one of them has this white ring around it. So that's the port that you use to connect to Android Auto. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect my other Galaxy S8 Plus. So again, this uh, camera that I'm using right now is the S8 Plus, and then it's also um, connecting through the second S8 Plus. You'll notice right away, it says connected through Android Auto, and you have this navigation uh, feature up top. So that navigation is actually the built-in uh, navigation that you get through the car. But here, what we want to do is go into Android Auto. So I'm going to swipe across up here, click on Android Auto. And this looks like your home screen on your phone when you have um, cards. So you have reservations come up. Um, tells you about how much how long it's going to take you to get home and then it also has your music if you look on the bottom you have your navigation your home the home screen music and the last button i think is to return to the car's uh, standard navigation or um, touchscreen features that you have so for instance if i click music that takes me into my google play so I can use my playlist, I can use Google Play Music, and I can play music directly from this touchscreen and it's using my Google account and my Google Play account. So let's actually go back to the home screen. All right, so I'm back to the home screen, but let me just show you when I go back into music, I can actually click on the menu and I have radio, recent activity, playlist, podcast. So you have all these features. And you'll notice the microphone is always up top. So you can use um, like OK Google to start talking through your phone through Android Auto. And you notice how that picked up when I said that. Another nice feature about um, Android Auto that I really like, that I, make, that I think makes it preferable over the uh, software that you get in most phones is the map or navigation. So let's go ahead and click on that. Okay, so it pulls up your Google map and I'm gonna actually start driving to show you why it's preferable. Let me put the seatbelt on. Okay, look how detailed the map is because it's using Google Maps. This is just like using your phone as um, a navigation tool, right? And then if you look at the car, the map is really limited. I mean, it's nice that it's there, but it's not that, it's not super great, it's not super detailed. But with Google Maps, you have all these street signs, you have live traffic, I think it actually um, is the best feature that you have using Android Auto. Okay, so I'm still on the map. 
and you notice I have my uh, search feature right there and I can still use voice search and again look at that map not super great okay so as we start driving let's um, I'm at a red light right now so once I start turning I'm gonna go into more of a street view on the map so let's go ahead and hit that so it shows you exactly where you are um, still at a red light so not moving quite yet but as soon as we start driving when this light turns green you'll see that it um, updates on our map all right so we're finally moving and you'll notice our navigation has updated and it is live also real quick um, really nice air freshener right here I'll put the link down below in the description if any of you want to pick this up so let me show you what the map looks like that comes stock with the uh, car okay so this is the navigation that comes with the car it's just built in so again you're not going to get updates like you would with um, Google and another thing is it does show you live traffic right now but that's because this currently has a data plan so you have to pay for the data plan to get this live traffic because eventually that will disappear the only reason I have that right now is because this is a brand new car so you get it for a little bit kind of like uh, when you get Sirius FM and they let you test it out but eventually you know I don't want to pay for that if I can get it straight from my phone so again that's another reason why Android Auto is a better option to use so again uh, Volvo XC90 Samsung Galaxy 8 Plus and Android Auto so thanks for watching